it isn't possible to factorize all quadratics. They don't all go into two brackets. In instances where we're not able to factorize, we can use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula solves any quadratic. Let's look at using this formula. So x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the first thing is, what do they mean? What does a, b and c mean? So when something's written in the form with x squared first, then x, then the number. So as long as we've got that form, it's the first, a is the first, left, the first number, b is the second number, and c is the third number. You see there's no number in front of the x squared, so that's a 1. So a in this case is 1. How many x squareds have I got? I've got 1x squared. How about x's? The number before the x, that's a 2. So b is 2. The number by itself is minus 11. It's not 11, it's minus 11. It's a negative, a negative 11. So a in this example is 1, 1x one squared. I've got two x's, so b is 2, and the number by itself is minus 11. So that's a, b, and c. Then the next thing, I guess, is this plus minus sign. So when we have a quadratic, we get, well, we usually get two solutions. This is actually two different formulas. It's one formula with a plus and another formula with a minus. So to get the two solutions, we use a plus once and a minus the other time. So let's look at substituting into this formula. So x is going to be equal to minus b, so minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is our minus 11, all over two a's which is two times one so that's how you substitute into the formula and then essentially we've got what we're going to type into the calculator so we're going to type it in twice once with a plus and once with a minus we do it by pressing this fraction button here press the fraction button first and then type in the top row exactly how it looks but just for a plus here just for a plus here to start with. So you can't actually see the end of it. It does say minus 11 on the end there. Um, exactly how it looks, press equals, and then you're gonna have to press the SD button here, S to D button, to get a decimal answer. Otherwise you'll get a square root, a third answer. So this is our first answer here. So for our plus, we get 2.46 to three significant figures. And then what we do is we type, we can use this button here, go back into it and change that to a minus. And then once we've changed that to a minus, we get the other answer, which is minus 4.46 to three significant figures. Okay, so let's look at these two. What's A, what's B, what's C first? So A is the number before the X squared. A is the first number. B is the second number, and C is the number by itself, the 13, minus 13. So the first number is 2, second is positive 2, positive 4, negative 13. They become A, B, and C. And then we just do the um, substitution. So it's minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 13 all over two twos so we type this in the calculator first do the plus sign so that gives us 1.74 so x equals 1.74 to three significant figures again and click back in change it to a minus and that gives us minus 3.74 three significant figures again 
Okay, this one here, we've got A is 1, because it's 1x squared. B, the number 4x is minus 7. So B is minus 7, and C is 3. So first number, second number, third number, A, B, C. And then the substitution, so minus, minus 7, plus or minus the square root of minus 7 squared, minus 4, times 1, times 3, all over 2 ones. So we type it into the calculator with a plus, and that's 6.54, so 6.54. And then we type it with a minus, or we change it to a minus. And to three significant figures, that's 0 0.459. Okay, see so if you can try this. See if you can work out what A, B, and C are, substitute them into the formula, and type it into the calculator. Okay, firstly, let's look at A, B, C. So A is 2, B is minus 5, and C is minus 9. So number before x squared, number before x, number by itself. And then substitution, so minus minus 5, plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared, minus 4 times 2, times minus 9, all over 2 2s. Then we type it into the calculator, first of a plus, and that gives us 3.71, three significant figures, and then type it in the minus, or change it to a minus, click back and change it to a minus, minus 1.21. 1 